parts of the Soviet Union, the making of roads and rail tracks is going full speed ahead. And in order to keep up the pace, high pressure hoses are used to clear away the debris before foundations are laid. It's quite a common thing to see huge jets of water, looking almost like searchlights in their directness and power, sweeping away masses of earth and stones in a fraction of the time it would take to dig them out. But the excavated material isn't wasted. It's directed into trough-like mixers, that after being washed and sieved is hauled off to be made into cement and other road-making ingredients. Near Murmansk, on the Kola Peninsula in the north of the Union, another great industry is thriving almost within shadow of the pole, mining for appetite. The ore is drilled out of the cavernous rocks which abound in this part of the country. Appetite is a mineral of great value as a phosphate. Found in the form of crystals, it's crushed and used largely as a fertilizing agent for plants. It's a case of appetite for appetite, but much more than a mere case. Truckloads of it are dispatched to all parts of the Union. And on the shores of the Baltic, the sea cadets of the Red Fleet keep their vigil, and themselves very fit. Swimming races are a daily occurrence in all weather, and the young men are as hard as the ice they sometimes have to break. In addition to being expert swimmers and divers, many of them are what the schoolboy thought were workmen's leggings, navigators. It's all part of the Soviet sea cadet's training for a life of service to his state. Observe the fine physique of these youngsters as they come ashore. But even these young men are not quite so active as the young Martins on this farm near Prague. This valuable fur-bearing animal normally lives in woods and rocky places. There's a social climber, he wants some beating. Being behind netting doesn't make any difference to the agility of the martin, but on the farm he gets the titbits, a mouse, a lizard or a frog, without having to trouble to catch them himself. Now we're off. In return for board and lodging, he gets...